Hey, ya ho ho ho. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing. Hey everyone, it is me, Angela, your friendly neighborhood hot mess. And today I'm gonna be doing the Christmas song book tag. This tag was created by Hales Hearts NYC. I hope that's how you say that, Hales. We're gonna ignore the fact that this Santa hat that is actually Larry's is a little too small for my giant head. So you're a mean one, Mr. Grinch, a villainous character you can't help but love. Now, before I say my answer, because you're gonna you're gonna be very confused when I tell you who this is, um, let me defend myself. I know what this question is meaning, uh, a, a villain who's a bad guy, but you still, you heart them, oh, you feel bad for them, or you understand their struggle, or you're secretly rooting for them. I know what this question is asking. But I went a different direction with it. I went with a villain that's just a plain old good villain. Not a good person, but good at being bad. Does that make sense? So my answer for this is Dolores Umbridge because there's nothing scarier to me <laughs> than someone who just blindly follows orders no matter how obviously bad they are just that blind loyalty and brainwashedness um terrifies me and i'm not gonna say it okay i'm gonna say it it reminds me of some some people today in today's political climate moving on because it's christmas but of course at christmas you're supposed to talk about politics with your family members right <laughs> for Christmas is you, a book you most hope to see under your Christmas tree. For this one, I had to go with Children of Blood and Bone by Tommy Adeyemi Adeyemi. I'm sorry, I don't know. I didn't even look it up before making this video like an idiot, so I know I'm pronouncing it wrong, but that has been on the top of my hype list ever since it came out. I just haven't gotten my hands on it yet. I want to read it so much so badly. All I want for Christmas is you. Hey Larry, if you're watching this video, hint, hint. The most famous reindeer of all, Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer. Hey. Had a very shiny nose. Yeah, did. And if you ever saw him, <laughs> you would even say it go. Like a light bulb. All of the other reindeer. Reindeer. They used to laugh and call him reindeer. Like Pinocchio. They never let poor Rudolph. Rudolph. Join in any Quidditch? Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer. Name a character that overcomes major obstacles and learns to believe in themselves. For this one, I went with Wade Watts from Ready Player One. Um, he was up against a lot, and he had a lot against him in the beginning when he started his quest. So, props to Wade. Yeah. <laughs> Claus is coming to town. This is a two-parter. Part one is, what character do you think would top the naughty list? And for this, the very first name that came to my mind, well, it actually, it wasn't the very first name, but I can't really say the first name because it would kind of spoil things for that particular book. So the very next thing that came to my mind was Violet from The Walls Around Us by Nova Rensuma. Screw her. That's all I can say about that. And who do I think would be on the top of the nice list? And that would be Millie from Dumplin'. Just a good bean all around. Frosty the Snowman, a book that just melts your heart. And for that, I chose To All the Boys I Loved Before by Jenny Han. I read that this year and it was super cute. And I also really loved the movie. So yeah, that's my answer. Christmas. 
Feliz Navidad, a book that takes place in a country other than your own. The first one that came to my mind is Anna and the French Kiss by Stephanie Perkins, but honestly, I feel like that's a lame answer, but I can't think of anything else. That seems really bad, other than like fantasy worlds, like Anna and the French Kiss is the first one that came to my mind, okay? That's just, we'll leave it. It's the most wonderful time of the year. What holiday themed book do you use to spread the Christmas joy? I can't think of a single Christmas or holiday around this time of year themed book that I have ever read. <laughs> that seems really bad, but I can't think of one besides maybe a Christmas Carol. But that's not really the happiest of books to spread cheer with. So, um, the first thing that came to my mind is Harry Potter. Because they always have Christmas in those books. And ABC Family, or now Freeform, always does the Harry Potter marathons around Christmas. So that's the first one I thought of. <laughs> Sleigh Ride. Which fictional character would you choose to spend the holidays with? I don't know why. <laughs> well, technically I'm choosing two, but they go together, so. Um, I don't know why this was the first fictional characters that popped in my head. I really don't know why, because I, after thinking of them, I could think of like a million, you know, like Harry Potter, Ron Weasley. Or my, like, I could think of a million characters, but for some reason, these are the ones my mind went straight to. Um, and that's Scarlet and Wolf from the Lunar Chronicles. And I think that's because I would just be very curious to see them at holiday time. I just think that would be hilarious and fun to be around. The next one is Baby It's Cold Outside. Which book that you didn't like would you sacrifice to keep yourself warm? And, um... For that, I chose The Spectacular Now just because it's the most recent book I didn't like. Um, so yeah. Do you hear what I hear? Which book do you think everyone should read? And the most recent, I can think of like a ton that I would say, but the most recent one that I've read that I think everyone should read, especially in today's society, is The Hate You Give by Angie Thomas. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoy jamming out to Christmas jams with me. I want to wish you guys a happy holidays. Merry Christmas if you celebrate that, but happy holidays if you don't. Um, thank you for watching and I'll see you later. Bye! There is just one thing I need. I don't care about the presents underneath the Christmas tree.